guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today's video I am super, super excited about because this Georgian makes my favorite top five Georgian one. It's definitely in there. Now this is not kind of overhyped Georgian one. It's not really a hyped Jordan one at all. I feel like so many people slept on this Jordan. Today's video I'm going to show you why this Jordan one is the best. Today's video we're going to be reviewing the Jordan one denim. If you haven't already make sure you're subscribed to stay updated with all my latest YouTube videos and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So we're going to start off with unboxing. Let me tell you, every part of this shoe when you receive it has got that little added bit of extra detail. So we've got the standard red and black box, which we have seen many, many times before for a retro high. Um, but if we do open the box, we do have some abnormal tissue paper that we don't usually see. So we have this red tissue paper. We have the bamboo earrings with the Jordan logo in, as you can see. And then we have this kind of bamboo rope as well. So yeah, it's nice sometimes just to have something a little bit different than the plain old white paper. Now, are you guys ready to see the Jordan 1 denim. Here they are. Just take a moment to have a look at them. We will talk about each shoe because as you can see, there is a little bit of a different feature on each shoe. So as you can see, most of the shoe is made up of the denim. We also have the standard white leather as well going on. This is supposed to represent the classic white t-shirt and jeans look. If we do actually take a closer look into the denim, you will see as well that it is frayed. And this is the part that I absolutely love. I just feel like the denim. I have been waiting for a denim Jordan 1 for so long. I didn't even know that I was waiting for it but I was waiting for it and here it is. Just as clean as the white t-shirt and the denim look is I feel like for the shoe as well it just gives off such a clean look. This shade of blue and white just goes so so nicely. So we have the denim mudguard, the eye stay panels, the swoosh and obviously the back panels and look at this Air Jordan Wings logo here on the side and also as you can see this denim is nicely stitched in with the white. Lacing wise these do actually come with a spare pair of laces. We get a red pair of laces but for me I feel like the white laces are just such a clean look. I feel like it would give the shoe a very, very different look if you did want to put the red ones on. But for me, I'll just be keeping the white ones. And we do also have a denim tongue here, as you can see. And we have the tongue tag here. Again, we have this in the white, but we also have this in the light blue. Taking a look inside the shoe, we do have the white sock lining. I've already got this dirty. I don't know how. I think just this white. Like I just can't be trusted around white. Taking a look, we do have a red insole, which matches the box and the tissue paper. And we also have a gold Nike Air logo which matches the Dubre on the front of the shoes. Now my favourite part of the shoe is the Dubre's on the front of the shoes on the shoelaces. These are gold bamboo earrings that are very very popular style of earrings. I actually used to have a pair but I haven't worn them in years but I absolutely love them. Usually they have your name in them so this would say Olivia but of course because they're Jordans we have one that says Jordan and then we have one that also is the logo. I absolutely love that they're both not the same. I think that it's nice that one is a logo and one has the writing but that for me is just such a nice feature usually I'm not a fan of especially like gold metal on the front of shoelaces I feel like sometimes it can look a little bit tacky however this I absolutely love and I feel like it contrasts again so nicely with the shoe however if you didn't like them it would be very long but you could take all the laces off and just kind of take them out and um, if you did want something a little bit more plain I still feel like they would look really really good maybe if you're a guy I don't know are they even girly I don't think they're that girly on the right Right hand trainer we do have this tag here which is in denim and we have this kind of red plastic Nike logo. Usually I would say keep these on but because I love the denim and the logo so much I feel like when this is hanging it kind of covers the swoosh so I am considering taking this off and we also have more gold here as you can see which kind of matches nicely. I love that kind of everything is colour coordinated. If we do move on to the sole we do have a clean white midsole and then of course we have this baby blue on the bottom. This as well if this Jordan was in this color this color is like similar to the unc colorway and i feel like it's always a winner a nice baby blue pricing wise cover your ears these came in 165 pounds jordan ones are getting more and more expensive soon they will be 200 pounds however i make an exception for these because i absolutely love them and this denim i feel like you're getting more premium quality and um, because you're not kind of getting the standard normal not so great leather and durability as well i feel like it will last longer than leather i might be wrong though just because of the way denim is denim kind of 
thick, you know, it's kind of rigid. Now guys, the craziest thing about these is that they're still sitting on the sneakers app. I don't know why people aren't going crazy for these. You do not have to bother with paying resale for them because you can just easily pick them up off the sneakers app. The only drawback though is that these are a women's colorway, so they only go up to UK 9.5. So if you do have bigger feet, for example, if you are a male or even a female that is bigger than a 9.5, you won't be able to get these unfortunately, which is very, very sad and annoying because I definitely think this is kind of a unisex pair as well. I feel like if you like the colors blue and white in general, then this is just a vibe. Sizing wise for Jordan 1s, whether I get a men's or a women's pair, I always go true to size, which is size seven and they always fit perfectly. Overall, as I said, this pair is making my top five and I will be putting them somewhere here on my shelf so that I can stare at them every day. I think for me, I'll mainly be wearing these in summer. I feel like they're a big, big summer pair, mainly because they're white and this blue is kind of more of a lighter shade. I just don't want to get them dirty. I absolutely cannot wait to style these as well. I feel like they're going to go so well with so many different outfits. I'll also leave my Instagram here if you do want to give me a follow. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.